Ooh, what's up? Man, everybody's going crazy with this this nonsense now of alerts, 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 alerts. It's going to be a crazy day. Hopefully you can relax for 10 seconds. Now, nope, guess not. Well, let's talk about it anyway. And don't forget to hit the like button. Probably want to know what's going on. Well, we're here to talk about hear no good, see no good, and do no good. There's three examples right there. There's more, but this is the three-headed monster that need to be talked about right now. Now, you see these people that you give your attention to, that these people promoted and got their bots and everything working for them on social media to push their agendas and BS through the media, through the airways, and you run out and defend them with their nonsense of stupidity, just running around looking ridiculous. Well... Let me explain to you who they are. First guy's academics. He created this whole wave off a series called War in Chirac, where he literally talks about all these incidents that was happening in a city he don't live in. Never showed his face, just grabbed a microphone, saw a story that was happening in a city he didn't live in and reported it as if he lived there and put targets on people's backs by giving them names, making fun of people who were deceased in the city when they died. And he knew what he was doing. That's why he didn't want to show his face. <coughs> Got his channel very popular. Then once he got on Complex and got to a successful place, then he had to start showing his face. He made a lot of money. Brags on the millions that he did, that he got. And he, blow, he blows it on cars and jewelry and hats and thotties, as he says. Where's the work? Where's the giving back to the community? What have you done to those people in for those people in Chicago? What have you done for them? Those families you destroyed by putting names out there, making names about them, telling people they're the king of the block, they're running it and ruling out there calling 12-year-old kids savages. All this damage you were doing to the community, getting almost millions of views a day, spewing nothing but nonsense. What do you add to the community? What do you add? Every day, what knowledge, what could somebody learn from one of your videos? Nothing. There was nothing positive about any of that stuff you was doing. None of it was positive. It was all nonsense. And you know it. And you try to justify it as if you were a reporter and trying to show that, oh, no, I was trying to say that was bad. And No, don't try to mop it up now. And that you're still profiting off of this series. He still has this series up and running and still making money off of it. What programs have you put in place? What business have you put in place? What have you done? You got millions, right? You're this millionaire. What have you done? Where is your work? That's why we're standing on your head. You haven't done nothing for the city of Chicago. You've done nothing for the children. You've done nothing to pay back. 
You owe, Pook. You owe. Now let's go on over to Butt Boy. Hassan Campbell. Oh boy, did he get famous. I remember, I remember when these, these guys first came on YouTube. You know what he was saying? Man, if, if I ever make it on YouTube, man, I just want to all humble and all this. And everybody felt sorry for him. He was talking about, man, Africa been bought him, man. He did me wrong. And they did this, and he aired out Africa Bambada. That's when he took off and blew up. Now, he was talking about, I ain't going to be like these dudes. They, now they bragging about jewelry. Man, when, when I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to help the community. I'm trying to help people. Now that he didn't got on and blew up and he getting all the numbers, now what he doing? Flashing new hats. You, you, old as you are, you buying hats. Buying new caps to match your shirt. Still living like a 20-year-old. And they're buying jewelry out the mall. <laughs> what happened to those people, those 18 people that, was, that lost their lives over there in that big old fire when the community was down there in the Bronx? And you talking about helping people. How did you help them, bro? It's all talk, right? See, they take their money and squirrel it away, but keep talking like they want to do something, but they don't do anything. Show your work. What you doing? Nothing. Where your programs at? You don't have any. So what you doing? Hmm? Show your work. Tammy. A man who has cancerously attacked black women. Got popular by attacking black women on social media. Trying to be the Howard Stern of radio. Got shut down in so many different ways and keep coming back on social media. Spewing hateful garbage nothing constructive whatsoever coming from him because it's all coming from a slanted point of view from a twisted individual whose main goal is just to cause controversy who called himself the king of controversy just so he can make some money there they go your three-headed monster that y'all listen to, y'all follow. Meaning the people that don't know no better. Then you'll get a couple of stupid fans of his that say, well, what you doing, man? What are you doing? See, everybody else here that know me who subscribed already, they already know better than to say something like that. Like, that's something you'll never hear those three people say about me. They'll keep their mouth real shut and quiet because they already know what we do. I was in the Olive Branch Mission since 1997, buddy. I've donated to the Golden Women's Foundation. And now the Saginaw Stem. Is one of the best programs going in less than one year. The new event is February 19th. That's right. Bring your kids if you're in Saginaw, Michigan. Right there at the uh, Saginaw Arts and Science Academy. Right there on uh, Niagara Street in Saginaw. From 9.30 to 12.30 p.m. Uh, visit the website to sign your students up and you guys can go in there and um, they're doing hydraulics and simple machines right you get to design build and test your own simple machine and your structural your structure of your hydraulics you understand how to like elevators and forklifts and crane arms work 
you'll be able to describe how to put pressure on fluid and generate power from doing so. And also, the Saginaw stem just made history. In less than one year, the Wangers Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the Saginaw STEM's new program called First Things First After School Enrichment Program. This program that we got and put in place now is reaching back and bringing all of the communities together and inspiring and engaging young people with science, technology, and engineering and within math. So now, every Tuesdays and Thursdays, every week, is an after-school program. See? It don't take much. All it take is time and people donating and people, all you guys here on Cash App that went in there and supported the Saginaw STEM, we're going to try to bring this city to city. That's the goal. To have these up and running in every city. But this is just where we started. And this is less than one year, people. Now, how, long, how many years have these guys been making money? Tammy, Hassan, and Theodore Chipmunk. Uh, academics. How long have they been on here? Six, seven years, right? Milking it and doing nothing. And y'all sitting there, don't hold them accountable for anything. Show your work, people. Show your work. Shouts out to Kwame Brown, Bus Life, who been out here showing the work. Kwame Brown has done something within less than a year. Then these dudes have not done combined these three so-called internet giants combined has done why do you give them your attention black people why are you following these people that do nothing for your community that give nothing back they just take and you support them so you either part of the solution or you part of the problem. Because it seems like to me, everybody likes to be part of the problem. Yeah, I had to put a flashlight on them because I wanted the world to see them for who they are. I want the world to see them for what they stand for. I want the world to see exactly who we are speaking on and talking to. Show your work, gentlemen. Get involved. Do something. Everybody like, man, you and academics need to sit down and talk. I don't need to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. He don't have to acknowledge me. He knows about me. Believe me, he knows. And y'all know he know. <laughs> he, he, can, he can't fool nobody. He can fool maybe y'all. He, he don't want to talk about me for a reason. Not to try to say he bigger than me. No, he knows you don't step on a tiger's foot. <laughs> you do that... <laughs> That ain't going to go so well for you. So it's very beneficial for him to stay quiet. Keep his head down and act like nothing's happening. Because he already know he didn't messed up one. Already. He's mad I'm back at him. Like, why does this dude back at me again? What did I do? What did I do? You know what you did. And once you start.
patting this Hassan Campbell guy, this clown, butt boy, right on the back. Here we go. Supporting a confused, deranged man. All he knows is what? Lie, contradict himself, and promote what? Violence. And be the first one to call the cops after inviting violence to himself. Yeah, that's what our community needs. That's what, that's what the youth, that's really showing the youth. Let's have this clown come out and pretend to be something that he isn't. Let's have this clown come out and to pretend to be something that he can never live up to. It's disgusting. So... I don't want to keep everybody, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. My cash app is Carcino. And thank you again for the cash app. Let's shout out some of the people that's been donating to the page on the cash app. Let's get them they get them they flowers. Because they've been working hard and doing it the right way. And they come out and, and support. So, to Thomas, B-Son, even though that was for Madden, <laughs> uh, Diva, Chris Brown, Aaron, George, Juan, Sharon, Nicholas Jacobs, Milwaukee Jeff, Malachi, Artis, Aaron again, Carmen, Jonathan, William Bridges, Terrence Harley, Donetta Hollins, Seneca, Donetta again, Milton, James, Sean, Spitting Fire, <laughs> uh, Josh, uh, Cousin Marcus. Cousin Marcus, uh, Kwame Brown, Charles Senior, Kwame, Bella, Dre Patterson, what's up? Tyrese, Andrew Gray, Humphrey Stagler, Jamal Edwards, what's up? Lorenzo Holloway. I see you, Andrew Holtz, Jennifer Black, Alden Matthews, Denise Thornton, Peter, John, Quidrick, Brandon Quinn, T.F., Willis, Guroach, Mark Marquise, Rags, <laughs> Isaac Romero, Samuel Reed, Guy Ballard, Jacquez, D.A. Calvin, Joel, Uzmain, Vernon 85, Kev Sick, Xavier Asim, Cole House Walker, Brian Leonard, Wes Spencer, Big Bang, Alvin Morris. And that's just to name a few. Kareem Davis. And wow. <laughs> Thank all of you. Even those who super chat. God bless every single last one of y'all, man. Because what y'all are doing is all of y'all who donating. You guys are all supporting that. Saginaw STEM. Your work is being put there. So all of you are a part of it. You are all donating. You are all making progress. So.
So all you people who are doing this, we are always going to find a way to pay it back to you in certain ways. Getting the youth, teaching them tools, teaching them trades that they're going to need in life to survive. Do you realize that it is less than 10% African Americans that know construction, that are actually in construction? They don't have a license anymore. Less than 10% out of all the population in the United States of America when it comes to African American in this field of mechanical engineering in charge of their own companies look at the landscaping companies black landscaping companies that used to be a thing for us we were known for taking care of lawn and gardening that was our forte did you realize that we had to garden ourselves? We had to do the lawn and garden and grow our own food and fruit because we didn't want to go to the stores because not that we didn't have the money. Most of them were segregated and that could lead to an incident where people were attacked and stuff. So we started growing our own fruits and vegetables so we wouldn't have to go into other of these markets. We stay close-knit, watching each other, protecting each other's backs, building. Now, it seems to be only about tearing down. If you tear down, you have to build up. They don't understand that. And that's why they're in the predicament that they are now. Yeah, I got millions of dollars off of YouTube and all these deals of extorting these people for money. Rappers and these record companies are paying them to promote, and that's good. You got all these millions of dollars, but you got to live like a hermit for the rest of your life. Where's the good in that? You got to be scared to come outside because somebody might try to take your head off. And you don't know who. So you're not a superstar celebrity, but you got to have security everywhere you go. Because if somebody see you somewhere, it could go bad. Hassan made a lot of money on YouTube. Making a lot of money creating drama and threatening people and all the nonsense that he does. But yet, can't go outside. Can't walk around. Yet he causes all this drama and want people to come his way. But he can't, can't go outside. Stuck in a certain bracket where he can go without protection. Stuck in a bubble. He on a three block radius. Tammy. Another person. Can't go everywhere he want to go. He got the police on speed dial. But he calls all this drama, calls himself the king of controversy. And all of them making all this money hand over fist, right? But what is he doing for anybody? He ain't even taking care of the child support. He going to jail over that. But this is your heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Carcino. I'm exiting. 
I'm no better than any one of you out there, and I never portray myself to be better than any of you out there. I just try to do my best to the best of my abilities. I'm flashing on a light on these clowns who have done nothing but take from you and give nothing back. They don't try to build or anything. We have the Saginaw stem out here crushing it. Crushing it right now in less than one year. We already have after school programs set up where the mayor, the city, everybody is showing support and it's growing. And we're going to try to build this in every city we go to. But you don't need us or wait for us to get going. You guys all out there, you guys got all these programs and things off the ground. Just get it rolling, man. Get it rolling. Get the work done. You guys all could do it. And even these three guys here, the spotlight is being shined on y'all because y'all need to do something. It's time. Academics, you need to atone for what you did in Chicago. The Warren Chirac, Chirac series that you created, you need to atone for that. And then don't think that people are not going to let you just walk on by. You need to atone, brother. It's time. You've been getting by for so long without doing that. So, I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe. My Patreon is Carcino for life. I love all y'all, man. Be easy.